Hey everybody, Captain Kimo here, and I have another tutorial for you. This one is a little different. I'm not really going to cover high dynamic range, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to turn this bland elk photo that I photographed at Yellowstone National Park, and I'm going to show you how to make it really dramatic, turn it into a really colorful um, silhouette like this. So we're going to go from this photo, really bland, and turn something really bland into something really nice that you can put on your wall. So there's a few ways that you can do this, um, but I'm going to show you three ways. This, uh, The three ways that I'll be showing you how to produce this photo, the first one is in Photomatics. So I'm going to show you how to produce the really nice colors in Photomatics. And then there's also another way that you can do this in Photoshop, which I'll show you, and I believe this should work for Photoshop Elements as well. And then I think my favorite way of doing it is um, processing it. Uh, directly in Lightroom. So I'll show you all three and how to uh, produce that or produce this particular image and it'll actually be very quick for each one. So let's get started. Okay, so the first way I'm going to show you how to produce the really cool photo is in Photomatics. Um, we're just going to tone map the image from a single exposure and I am going to open it in Photomatics and I'm just going to hit the tone mapping button. And right now we have this set on default and we're just going to play around with the uh, the settings real fast to get that uh, silhouette. Uh, first I'm just going to boost the colors all the way up with the uh, color saturation and then I'm just going to bring the strength down and then I'm just going to work with, with the photo until I get the silhouette. So I'm going to bring the luminosity down and then the uh, detail contrast. I'm going to bring that down. And then I'm going to go straight to the gamma, bring that down and bring the bring the black point all the way up. And then bring the shadow clipping, bring that all the way up. I rarely use shadow clipping, but for, for this particular uh, image, this is perfect. So I bring shadow clipping up and shadow smoothing up a little bit. And then we'll we'll play around with the temperature, bring the temperature all the way up to warm, and you'll get that really warm color, that nice bright warm color. So it's starting to look good. Um, then maybe play around with the white point, and then play around with the lighting adjustment to see whether we like it uh, towards the uh, left here or towards the right. And I kind of like it right around the middle, so we'll just we'll just leave it there. And now I'm just gonna go back and maybe play around with the strength, play around with the image a little bit to see uh, what it does. Okay, so it kind of darkens up the sky if I bring uh, the strength to the uh, right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna bring it right about there. Just kind of get it nice and a little darker here. Um, and then we'll just go to luminosity, maybe play around with that. Okay, see, the more luminosity we bring out, the more noise. You can see here, there's some noise here um, in the image. Um, so I'm just going to leave that down. Still noise, but we can uh, fix that later on if we have to. Um, a good way of reducing noise is going into micro smoothing and just bringing, bringing it all the way up. And that should help reduce noise. And that that's pretty much it for this photo. And if you don't have Photomatics, uh, or not Photomatics, but if you don't have um, photo, Photoshop, I'd, I'd bring it into Photoshop and then denoise it using uh, Topaz denoise. But uh, right now it looks good, so I'm gonna go ahead and just hit the process, and then I'll show you how to uh, create the same image in Photoshop without taking it into Photomatics. Okay, so here is the same image. I have it opened in Photoshop and I'm going to show you how to produce that same same photo that you saw in Photomatics. I'm going to show you how to produce that in Photoshop. So the first thing we're going to do is add a levels layer. I'm going to go down here and choose levels. And I'm going to hit that and that will give us a levels adjustment layer. Click on that so you can uh, adjust the options here. And I'm just going to bring the black point. This is the black point here. I'm going to bring it down until it's kind of kind of dark. And then I'm going to bring the white point. The white point is on the right side here. And I'm just going to bring it up a little bit. And then this is the midpoint. So I'm going to bring it in a tad also. So now it looks good. You have the silhouette and kind of kind of a, a little bit of a color here in the sky. Um, but that's it for the levels layer. So next we're going to add a a gradient map so we're gonna add a new layer I'm going to click here this will give us a new layer this is a new blank layer and then we're gonna go ahead and select the uh, gradient tool here this is the gradient tool and we're going to go here and select the black and white gradient um, but we're gonna change the colors on that 
and I'm going to change the colors by clicking down here this one uh, little tab here double click that and we we get a picker window where we can pick our colors and I'm going to want to move it right around an orange an orangey color kind of like what we saw on the uh, the photo there in Photomatics so I'm going to pick an orange color for the the tab on the left here and then the tab on the right I am going to pick a, a yellowish color and that looks that looks good and I'm going to click OK on that and OK next uh, make sure I have the new layer here selected the new blank layer and then just drag hold shift drag a line like this down and what this does is this creates a, a straight line so that you will get a straight uh, gradient here and once we get the gradient tool here all we need to do is go into the transparency mode and go into I believe it is linear light nope hard light nope Let's... here we go it is linear burn so we go into linear burn and we get our nice photo um, we get the nice colors here and uh, the nice silhouette so Photoshop is a little better at doing this than Photomatics you get more control and more options um, so now that that's done this is, that was pretty simple next I'll take you to uh, Lightroom to show you how to do it in Lightroom now Lightroom is uh, probably the best way I think it produces the best results in terms of pixels so let's go ahead and I'll show you how to do that in Lightroom okay so here we have the same photo open in Lightroom and I am going to start by adjusting the contrast so that we um, get more of a silhouette so but we'll just pull the contrast up a little bit and then we're gonna pull up the uh, black here just to get the foreground darker next we're gonna go into um, the gradient tool and this is where we we produce our gradient um, colors here so I'm click that and I'm just going to pull a gradient here and add a little bit of a color to that gradient the orange orangey red reddish color here so I'm gonna, I'm gonna click that and probably make it a little redder and that looks good I am going to bring the exposure down a little here on that particular color bring down the brightness a little also so that's good I'm just gonna play around with the gradient just to kinda get it where I want it and that looks good now it's a little little bright right around here so I'm gonna hit done on that and add another gradient I'm gonna start by clicking the other way where I'll click down here and drag up instead of clicking up and dragging down and then I am going to select a yellowish color here this is the yellowish color here I'm gonna select this color here and just get a nice yellow color going and then we are going to bring the exposure down again here and I'm gonna just drag it a little bit up and down okay so next I'm gonna hit done and then we're gonna go back into the gradient I'm click the gradient I'm gonna select the uh, our last gradient here which is I believe it's this one Let's see alright no that's the second one I'm gonna select that other gradient here and I am just gonna pull it up a little bit and actually bring down the exposure some more okay so that that looks better next I am going to hit done and then I am going to go into a split toning and I'm just gonna add a little color in the highlights here um, maybe like a yellowish tinge to the image okay so it's starting to, to look good next I'm gonna close that and then I'm gonna go back up to the uh, the basic the basic settings here and just gonna maybe bring the recovery light up a little maybe um, then I'm gonna play with the uh, vibrance and bring that up a little bit and then the saturation and that that should be it and um, that's how you would do it in Lightroom so I am going to go ahead and save this and then I'll show you the results from all three and you can compare okay so here we have our photomatics version the uh, color in here doesn't uh, 
particularly look as good as the Photoshop version, so I'm going to show you the Photoshop version. So the colors are a lot more dramatic here in the Photoshop version. Well, that's because you know we use that gradient map in Photoshop to produce the colors um, without having to uh, pull out colors from the actual image. So it looks a lot looks a lot nicer, but there is some noise. We could have removed the noise here in Photoshop, but you know I wanted just to kind of keep the tutorial based on how to create the silhouette and the color. So. Next we have the uh, the Lightroom version and this is a little nicer. It's got um, better tones and I, you know I prefer to do it in Lightroom just to make it easier for me. And the uh, the, to the tones here or the pixels here aren't as um, blotchy as the ones in Photoshop, which I could have fixed in Photoshop. But you can see here Lightroom is pretty nice and it looks. Um, to me it looks better so alright so there you have it uh, three different techniques for creating beautiful silhouettes so that's it for this tutorial um, until next time this is Captain Kimo signing out